Yo, what is going on with Asian Sensation back with another video. Today's episode, we are using what is currently one of the best strats in the game. This is one of the few meta strats out there right now that people are running in Hall of Masters, including myself, just because you basically have to run some sort of variation of the main meta strats in order to win games in this arena, um, especially when you're in Ham or Hall of Masters this early in the season. I automatically got put in there because I finished like 22nd or something last season. So that's just kind of what we had to um deal with but looks like we're both starting with the druid here yeah we're running sub farm druid really really strong strat not many strats beat it it's just extremely strong especially on a map like this where you can anti-stall with your druid which makes things really really nice because essentially you're gonna be able to anti-stall against all eco strats which is really really useful um so you're not gonna basically lose ever to an eco strat we should be able to just leak these here. I'm gonna put this on first since he's not sending greens or anything. He could actually have layered pretty well there, but it didn't look like he wanted to, I guess. Okay, interesting. Cool, but yeah, sub farm druid, man. You can defend really late because you have first strike, which is probably one of the best micro abilities in the game. I'd say it's quite equivalent to the ground zero um, from battles one in terms of usage and um, kind of OP-ness, if you will, so. That's what I'm thinking. This guy is ecoing pretty hard. I still expect him to have farms in this case, but I guess we'll find out. I still want to leak 11 lives as well to buff this thing. So I'm going to try to leak a few of these and then I'll place my brambles down. So right here is good. He's going to balloon boost. Okay, buddy. Um, That's fine. Let's just get up lightning here and we'll be good. Um, I have to boost. Not the greatest start. Kind of had to, though. I mean, I don't know how else I'm supposed to defend that. I could have went Druid of Wrath, but it's better to go Lightning early, in my opinion. If I would have bought my Brambles a little bit earlier, it would have been fine, but it's all good. All right, we'll be fine round five. Let's see how he does. He's leaking a lot as well. Maybe we'll get a boost out of him. Let's go for our farm here. But yeah, to, to elaborate on what I was discussing earlier... The main meta strats right now, boys. Um, on a map like Garden, your sub farm druid is definitely the best strat. I don't think there's any arguing that. Darling farm ninja is still really strong as well in this um, day and age. Oh, they nerfed Darling, but they really didn't. Uh, they basically, the HRP, the Hydro Rockpots, was not really affected. And so people really kind of overrated the nerf to Darling. It's still, one, it's still a meta tower. It really is. Um, sure, they nerfed the base Darling, but. The Hydro Aquabods is just as good. So essentially, them lowering the price of the base Dartling um, makes getting a Wall Street easier, believe it or not. So they in unintentionally kind of buffed Dartling, believe it or not, is how I interpret it and how a lot of the pro players are interpreting it. So that's a bit unfortunate. Why is he so horny for lives, bro? Buddy, he needs to relax. I'll upgrade. You're fine, buddy. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, Dartling Farm Ninja, really strong strat. Sub Farm Druid. Is definitely the best druid strat at the moment. I don't think there's any arguing that. Ninjaius might have something to say, but it just is. Um, and then ninja farm alk. Any any kind of ninja alk combination is really strong, but I would say mainly ninja farm alk. Um, because ninja farm alk and ninja heli alk because of how good um, ninja alk combo is really. Alk buffed jitsus are just cracked. So that's kind of that. Uh, those are like the main meta strats right now. Um, there's a bomb is meta. Don't get me wrong. Bomb is still a really good tower. However, you only really see it on two maps in comp. You see it on in the wall, occasionally sands of time, and then star is like the main map you see it on. So that's kind of that. Is he gonna aggro right here? I'm not. I haven't really been. Why am I sending him leads? Leads got nerfed. I should not be sending leads here. That's bad play on my end, but it's fine. I'm just going to go straight for a reactor, or yeah, we'll go for a reactor here. Nice rush, nice rush. We're going to send them space rainbows. You get these for one round, and they're really efficient, actually. And they're coming on the screen extremely quick. So we force a ballistic. I assume we'll force a submergent support here. I'm just going to send them one set of uh, these. And we have a solid eco. We force submergent support. I'm just going to eco to about, like, right here is fine. I'm just going to save up for farms. So let's go for a farm or two here. I'm going to put this on strong. If he rushes, we just get a ballistic missile. I guess I could go for a farm here. Because I think he's going to rush right here. Uh, maybe not. 
All right, we got that. Let's see if he rushes. If he rushes, it's not. Oh, uh, I actually have used a boost. I thought I had all my boosts. I do not have all my boosts. So, I mean, if he rushes, I just get a ballistic. I really would rather not boost. Then again, we don't really need them super much late game, other than for like all of DDTs, because we're mainly relying on our first strike. But this, we're playing with Mir, by the way. He's a he's an OG sub. He's been around for a while. He's really good at the game as well. I should note. So we're going to send a small little rush. He just went for his farm, so I don't think he's going to have too much money. I'm going to balloon boost this. He might be fine, actually. Oh, we got a boost on him. I think he was fine there. Then again, he's at 19 lives. I think we forced farm cell, too. I'm completely content with that, the outcome of that rush. Now, I do not have much defense, believe it or not. I have a regular um, reactor. Don't even have middle path on it. Um, my only mod popping power is this druid at the moment. We could buy trees for what, 6k this round? Yeah, 6k to buy trees right now. I assume it's in a Moab, so I'm getting ready. Yep, there he goes. We're gonna get this, and then we're gonna get this. Two of these will be enough. A little bit of an over defend, honestly. Don't even think the second one was necessary because of how much Bramble buildup I have, but we'll rock it, and that should solo quite easily. Nice. Now, do I want to sell this? Probably not, just in case he sends an F Moab. I think he's going to go for his farm here any second now. We're probably pretty pretty dang close in terms of eco and farms. I think he'll get his farm here any second now. Let's see. If he rushes, I can just get up trees here. Trees are really, really strong. I don't think he'll rush me. I'd be shocked if he did. And if he does, let's just get up the twin guns on both these. And I, could, I don't think I want to buy trees till next round. But we got a slight out farm going, which is awesome. Defense-wise, we actually have more defense than him. He just sold his ballistic to farm, which is fair. Uh, I think I just buy tree. No, I don't need to buy trees next round. I don't really have a great AI spot for trees. Like, if I could get my trees right here, I definitely would right now, because it'd be worth the investment to buy it for, like, 900. But I think that's what he should do. He should buy his trees right now, honestly, and get them for AI. I can get away with selling this. So I can farm a little bit more here. We should be on pace to get around 21 Wall Street. Slide out farm. So he got his trees. Okay, yeah. Um, Where do I want to place my trees? I guess like right here is fine. I'm going to decamo this. Or, so I can get some more pops out of that bad boy. And we're going to farm. Let's see if he sends a fortified BFB. It's a common rush that we see. Um, But it doesn't look like he's sending anything. He's going for another farm. So these we just need about 18, 19k to afford our um react or our thing. So I'm gonna have to sell this. I'm getting ready. Got it. All right, we're out farming. Huge. We might punish rush though with a bunch of PFPs right here, so we have to be ready. Yep, here it comes. Easy reads. All right, this is a good rush. Really good rush. Not gonna lie. Um, how do I want to defend this? That's a good question. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna sell this farm actually. Go for another one. So yeah, really well done rush on his end, not gonna lie. Well played. Do I boost here? I don't think it's necessary. I'll boost. I don't know how filled up those trees are, is the only reason I boosted there. We'll send him a fortified BFB back. Oh wow, his farms are nuts. Um I don't think he has trees though, does he? Yeah, I don't think he has trees. We get a boost out of him. He's got an out farm. Well played. This isn't going to be a super easy defend for him, though. Do I want some another? I don't think so. I think I just farm. I just want to make getting my superstorm up as like easy as possible, if that makes sense. All right, clean defend on his end. I don't think he'll need anything more. He doesn't even need that top ballistic, but that works. Well played, well played. I mean, I still got the Wall Street around before him, right? So his slide out farm isn't a huge deal, I don't think. I think we're, it's a, I think it's pretty even at this point. I think it is pretty even, which is great. Okay, this will be my future superstorm, by the way. So we have trees we can place. Oh, I should have placed these right away. I this is a blunder. I should have placed these for fresh trees so I can refresh them right away because those trees were all used up. That was bad play. Okay, let's just start to get up our Superstorm. We sell these for 19k. We're going to get 10k start of the next round, so that's 
We'll be pretty close to affording. I just have to sell. I don't need any of these because I'm going to go for my Superstorm. I need to force his Superstorm as well, though. Definitely should force his Superstorm, right? Wow, he's farming extremely hard. I'm going to send him an episode my god here. Let's see what he does. Is he going to double first strike this? What's his plan? What's your plan here? Are you going to get Superstorm, bro? Or are you just going to double FC that? Or FS? I can't even afford my Superstorm right now. I'd have to sell this, and even then it's close. I have trees, though. Alright, we have trees for this. We have trees. Oh my gosh, we almost just died of that. Why do I have to boost that? This thing sucks. <laughs> You really need boost there, huh? Alright, well, this will force... This forces first strike, for sure. Why am I egoing right now? Or not first strike, super strong. Okay, so he actually sold his Wall Streets. What the heck? Interesting. I'm out of boost, and that's actually kind of a big deal here. I have fresh trees, though, which I'm going to place. Uh, I need to start buffing this guy. Yeah. I need this guy, like, 5 buffed, or else I'm dead doing a lot. So we gotta note that. We'll go for this, I think. Yeah, lots of DDTs. We sell these, get one Avatar of Wrath with Middle Cross on strong, probably. I don't think he all outs in this situation though. Is it even worth to go for another farm? Probably not. Probably not, no. I don't think it is. Wow, he he greeted for that, huh? He does not have a buff Superstorm though. I maybe could have just mm, all outing is way too risky there, actually. Way too risky. I also need a submergent support. So my druids can hit. My other druids other than my super strong. This is about to get really interesting. And I think the play in terms of rushing here is to mix in regular bad. So we'll start with an F bad. And then we'll send a regular bad over the top. And then another F bad. Because what's going to happen is that regular F bad's not going to get targeted by the first strikes at all. Because what's going to get targeted by the first strikes is the strongest blue on screen. Which will be those F bads. So that's something we should note. Okay, this is about to get... I'm going to say good luck. This is about to get interesting. Uh, I probably want to target my trees in the very back now as well. He's getting... He's buffing his Superstorm at the moment. That's fair. So it's an F-Bad. I'm going to sell this farm. It's an irregular F-Bad. And I assume he's going to send on the same time. I'm going to Bloom Boost this. Yep, he's going to rush same time. I want to wait till I get this money though. Can I wait? I don't think I can. I just have to sell that because we're not going to pop that for a while, actually. Uh, yeah, this is fine. He's going to he's gonna mix in a regular bad soon. All right, we're going to start. Oh, he's balloon rushing. That's just a really bad play, actually. This should just defend. I have fresh trees if I need to as well. This should just defend. Trees. I think this defends. Superstorm, you should defend here. Should defend. Oh, it's going to be really close, actually. Yeah, well played. Well played. GG. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just... I oversent, right? I guess I... If I have a boost there, it's a free win. So I think, I think we should always just... Make sure we have at least one boost for that specific rush. But GG's. Yeah, we just need a boost. We need one boost there. Um, I'll run it again. Why not? It's so strong. The strat's so strong. Alright, let's get it, man. Uh, we just got one buff druid start here, I think. Because I, as long as I don't use all my boosts, we'll be fine here. But yeah, if you if you nor generally if you go sub farm druid, one druid starts to play. Just gotta make sure we have that boost, as I was saying. All right, we got our Oban placed on the map. He's space sequing. He went um Gwendolyn, so I'm expecting tack farm ice here. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent tack farm ice, which is a strat that fell off pretty hard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We'll see how it goes for him though. For a few reasons: a the tight ceramic rush, b the tight oh my god rush. Really. Uh, 
made things difficult for that loadout. Okay. Uh, oh, we're back. Okay. Cool beans. He's sad because he got bad Wi-Fi. Feels bad. My boy's playing in Caribou right now, dude. All right, let's buy that. Oh, we still want to leak 14 lives here. So I'm going to put these both on close. So they have bad targeting, essentially. And we just want to leak, leak a little bit of balloons here. And since I have... I'm just going to send them a little bit of stuff here. And we'll put you both on last now. Actually, that on first will be fine. We just need to leak like six blue balloons, which we should do here. Or 12, seven blue balloons. Quick maths. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. Perfect. So now we got a max buff druid here, attack speed wise. And now we just space eco and farm on. I uh, will get top path. If we start struggling, I think I can greet here because some reason he's like group ecoing. Yeah, we're fine here. OP, bro. Our farms are great. Our eco's great. These rounds are stalled out. We just outlast any tax strat that has farms. That's just simple as that. So that's totally awesome. This should, it, you'll get, you guys will really see how strong this strategy is if I can actually get an effective super storm going where I have boosts or I have money to get like preemptive. So we're going to farm on here. Let's keep getting our brambles on the map. And next on the agenda, we'll be getting this guy upgraded. I'm going to go bottom path here because the straight line projectile is pretty good. So you actually don't need lightning for a while. As you can see, we're handling fairly well. Could be a little bit better, but I mean, as long as we're not leaking here, it's totally great. So we got Gwendolyn round five, I think. I think you got that round five. And that you almost always want to get your Gwendolyn round five or earlier if you're going to go attack form. Because if you get it round five, um, you'll get the, your cocktail for round seven, which is super nice. So you don't get overwhelmed by yellows, essentially. So that's well played. I think I just save up for my banana plantation now. If he aggros with a lot of yellows, it's going to force a lightning, which is a great rush if he does do that. We're just going to have to wait and see. But if not, we're just fine with what we got here. Yeah, we should be able to greet for our farm. I don't want to aggro with yellows too much here. I think a passive early game is fine on my end. All right, we'll send some yellows. It'll force some defense, maybe. This is a really, really good blade shooter map. It's not a bad thing to get eco here, though. All right, this is Force Cocktail, right? Yep, there's the cocktail. Awesome. Beautiful. If he rushes, we are going to need to get up Lightning. Really wish I had Monkey Farmers right now. Sag. Yep, there's Attack Farm Ice. Okay, he went for a shard. It's fairly expensive. He sent in the sus emote. Uh, he's going to rush, finally. All right, I'll get my Lightning up. Fair play. Fair play, bro. And now we start getting up our subs. I'll probably just go ballistic, actually, as opposed to a reactor here. He has embrittlements. Well played. This is a really big greed play, but I'm going to go for my farm here. Super, super greedy. He's not punishing. Awesome. All right, let's go for some merge here. And we're going to send these spaced rainbows. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to sell that for this, or else I'd probably die there. Yeah, that was definitely the play. I 100% would have died if I didn't sell my farm there, or boost. So we're just getting some good space eco. Almost a 1,000 eco is phenomenal here. I am going to eco to about... I'm going to eco a little bit more. I don't really see signs of aggression here. So I think I'm fine to just farm. 1,000 eco is great. Okay. So now I just save up for my facility, or not facility, my Wall Street. Are we going to get Moab Rush, bro? My dude has played extremely... Oh, we finally get a rush to defend. Pog. Um, so we'll just do this. This will be fine. He's balloon boosting, bro. Are you, like, all out of me right now? Not a wise move. Yeah, this third air burst was kind of overkill. I didn't even need it, but... Don't defense, bro. Easy. All right. Yeah, we're on pace to get round 20 Wall Street at this point, which is kind of cracked. Let's get our anti Moab Brambles going as well. Essentially, what anti Moab Brambles, what I mean by that is, like, say he sends a Moab, these balloons aren't going to hit the Moab, or the Brambles right here, but a Moab's hitbox is picking up where it will. All right, we're going to buy trees for $900 because it's going to make us more than $900 here. So we'll place that. Now I can sell both these. Can I get around 19 Wall Street? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 19k plus 5200, that's 24k. We need about 18k saved up. If I sell this, so it means 17k. If I can get 17k here before the end of the round, I can afford around 19 wall, which would be nuts. If I cash out here, I 100% can. No, we're not. Okay. Round 20 Wall Street, it is.
He's balloon boosting. What are you sending? All right, this is fine. Get that up. And we'll get uh, one of these. And I hmm. guess we can get one more of these. That'll defend. He's going for his Wall Street. He's going to get greeted by Ephesus on my god here. Enjoy. We should be fine against whatever rush he's sending. All these ceramics are a little bit spooky, but ballistic OP. Sell, sell for 6k. See how he handles this. He has like no defense on the map. 100% balloon boosting this. I don't really see him defending this till next round when he gets the 10k. So I'm going to sell these. All right. Nice farms right now. We have fresh trees soon as well. Which I'll gladly place on the end of the map, actually. Because we don't really need it for money. We mainly need it for TPs. So place those over here. Get that. Perfect. Got fresh trees down. And he stalled that out pretty well. So nicely done. He's going to need a super maelstrom here, I think. So yeah, it's a really expensive defend on his end. So I'm glad I sent that rush. He'll defend. He didn't need that boost, honestly. I think s would have soloed without boost there. It would have been close, I guess. All right. Our farms are phenomenal. But we are going to need a Wall Street. Or not a Wall Street. A super storm for DDTs, right? So we'll need to start getting that up. What an odd gentleman. All right, we're just going to get this up because I'm going to need it for DTs anyways. And it does decent damage to mobs. We'll just put them on strong for now. And then we'll check this. All righty. Ramping starts this round, so it's something we should know. I'll just get that. That's fine. And we'll put this on first now. Should destroy this pretty easily. Trees will eat up anything that doesn't get eaten up by my ballistics. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do I play safe and go for Superstorm? Or actually, I think the play is to bait DDTs so he drains all Zico and I can just first strike micro of those. Plus, I have fresh trees. Fresh trees will eat one fortified DDT and two regular DDTs. So I think it's fine here. I think my trees can still eat something as well. Yeah, I'm actually not going to go for S Storm yet, Superstorm. I'm going to first strike micro instead. So I can just bait him to basically zero all out. Zero is eco, essentially. And I think I can go for a farm. All right, he's going to send this. We have first strike, first strike. First strike. And now he has zero eco. He has zero eco. And we have fresh trees for another DTT if he wants to send them. Okay, we have trees for this one. And uh, trees. Trees will defend those. Dude, this guy needs to relax. Holy cow. Well, boost. I did not need a boost. What am I doing? Well, he basically just sent me like 4 billion DDTs. Uh, we'll send him another fortified. Oh my god, why not? I That was just so extra, bro. Like, <laughs> that was just the most extra thing of all time, bro. What even was that? Alright, if he all outs DDTs, we need to spam these guys. Spam some pop plus. He's gonna do it. He sold the farm, I think. Oh, to defend. <laughs> Fair enough. Guess what I can send him right now, actually. I can send it. I don't want to send that. Let's see what happens. Does he defend that? I can mail strong that. What am I doing? All right. Does he even defend this? It's ramped. He's going to need a boost here for sure. Right? Super mail, bro. It does pop frozen balloons, so it's actually really good. Super mail is so good. I just don't see how he defends... Yeah, you're not defending enough. He doesn't have money to like constantly defend up bads, I don't think. Let's just start building up our um, druid buffs here. All right, we're gonna send him an up bad here. He's probably gonna do the same. Let's start buffing this guy. Let's get ready to micro like a mad lad, boys. Good luck. This is where the fun begins, baby. This is where the fun begins. Uh, he's not rushing. I guess I can sell. Why aren't you rushing? All right, I'll send you another one, I guess. Fine by me. Enjoy. He's gonna need... He has an Esprit, but he doesn't have a Tax Zone. All right, we're gonna send Tight Summer Gods over the top. Sell that farm. He is not gonna enjoy all these Summer Gods over the top. If he counters, we gotta be ready. I sell Wall Street and just micro like a Mad Lad if he does. He's dead to that, right? 
Um, there's still an F bat hidden in there, actually. He's not countering. It's so lame, man. Counter me, bro. Unless you're defending that. But even if you do defend that, I still have my Wall Street, bro. I still have my Wall Street. It'd be pretty epic if he defends. But yeah, the Fortified Zoma Gods are such a big weakness for his loadout. Which is why it's such a kind of trash loadout these days. Yeah, he's dead. No counter, Satch. GG's, boys. Um, Druid Farm Subban. Fantastic, fantastic strategy. Make sure you drop a like below. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next one. Peace.